engineers for a strength test of buildings to reassure residents. Gareth Furby reports. It happened in London in the 1960s. So could it happen again? After the events at Grenfell, it hardly bears thinking about. But that disaster has led some independent safety experts to look closely at other blocks. And now they're worried about this estate in Peckham. Tyrone Thomas lives on the ninth floor, and he's worried too. Do you feel safe here? Not at all, no, no. It's a bit like being in prison, but you lock yourself in, because uh, the dangers in prison are probably less than what they are living in this block of flats. In many flats, there's cracking between walls, which could mean fire can spread rapidly up the blocks. There are now fire wardens on constant watch, and Southwark Council has been filling cracks. This is in Tyrone's flat. But independent safety experts are now warning about the gas supply. If it's leaking, we can end up with an explosion and a major collapse affecting and killing people in these blocks. What the experts claim is that the blocks at Ledbury are a similar construction to the block which collapsed in 1968 at Ronan Point in Newham, killing four people. That disaster was caused by a gas explosion, and afterwards gas was seen as a real danger in all similar blocks, as the BBC reported at the time. The government inquiry set up after the disaster recommended that gas should be removed from all system-built blocks. The ban was an interim measure, the inquiry called for buildings to be strengthened to eliminate the risk. But an independent expert who recently visited the Ledbury blocks wasn't happy with what he found. The council should immediately cut off the gas supply until they know that the building can withstand the blast of a gas explosion. Another safety expert with concerns is Sam Webb. After Ronan Point, he investigated the weaknesses of this type of tower block and now he wants the walls at Ledbury checked to make sure they can survive a gas explosion, saying there could be consequences if there is one. It could blow out the load-bearing end flank walls of that block of flats. You will have a building collapse. If there are people in the living rooms and the kitchens of those flats, they'll collapse and kill people. Today we put the two experts' points to Southwark Council and they said they were wrong. The building's problems are being sorted out and they're also safe for gas. The four tower blocks on the Lebrid estate were actually built after Ronan Point and are of a different design. They are slightly different, they're of a type B property. Ronan Point was a type A structure. Um, so therefore we feel that they are safe to have gas in them. However, we have asked Arup, who are the structural engineers looking into it, to do that safety check. But why are you keeping people in the buildings before the checks have been done? And so we've said to people if they don't feel safe, we, are, we, we will move them. But I think a mass evacuation is, isn't the right thing at the moment. We've put measures in place to ensure there is safety there. We have wardens in there. Southwark Council insists the blocks are safe and says it's working with London Fire Brigade on a permanent solution to all of the issues and says the results of the strength tests will be known shortly and will be shared with residents. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.